Good evening, Mississippians. My name is J-Mo. A lot of you know me as Johnny Johnson. I was born in Ocean Springs, Mississippi in 1944. Lived in Mississippi all my life until I was about 21 years old. Uh, I've been awarded the um, E. Rodney Smith Award by the Jackson Music Awards, uh, an American Blues Network uh, Award. And I'd like to thank all of those uh, who saw fit to give me the award. Um, I'd like to say thanks to J. Moe's Jazz Band, to all of those who support buy our CDs and keep us doing what we enjoy doing the most playing American music. I'd like to thank um, the Podell Talent Agency and uh, C.J. Strzok who runs it, keeps it together. And I'd like to thank the Jackson Music Awards and the American Blues Network. I'd also like to thank um, Rip Daniels, who keeps us informed about what's going on in the nation and uh, around the, pretty much around the world. I'd like to thank uh, Donald Henry, who thought I had a little talent and suggested to some people that they hire me when uh, they happen to need a drummer. Um, I played in Otis Redding's band, uh, thanks to Donald Henry, and my abilities, of course. But Donald Henry recommended me. And, uh, and Taylor's band, Ted Taylor's band, Donald Henry recommended me. He recommended me in Joe Texas' band. And he recommended that I move to Macon, Georgia because there was going to be a recording studio that Phil Walden was building. Who was the head of, turned out to be the head of uh, Capricorn Records. Um, which was the record company for a band that I've played with for 43 years, uh, the Allman Brothers Band. And that's one of the reasons that I can't be there tonight I'm on tour with him. Um, I'd like to thank Cleveland Booth and his brother Cleasel for all the times that I got to work with them and hear some of their stories about blues legends and some of their stories about living in Canada and playing blues which is what they mostly did uh, to make a living because you couldn't really make a living in uh, in the South, a lot of places in the country are uh, playing uh, blues, unless you were like blues legends. Uh, there was another guy, uh, a Lucky. I don't know what Lucky's last name was, but Lucky uh, was one of those serious guys about uh, about playing. And serious enough about the music to stop you on the bandstand and show you how the song really goes, and then started over again. <laughs> it was just the way he was. He was very serious about playing that music. It was a guy named Lil Charles, Charles Wheeler, and his wife, Ruby. Uh, Charles was a bass player, and Ruby was a singer. And uh, I played quite a few dates with them. Uh, when I lived in Mississippi. There was another guy named Buster Teague. Little Buster, everyone called him. Little Buster said nobody could play the blues except he and B.B. King. B.B. King was number one and he said he was number two. Ain't nobody played the blues like B.B. and I horse. That's what he used to say. 
When he'd be talking to you seriously, he'd call you a horse. <laughs> there was this guy that uh, I played with and we really had a great time. Uh, we had a great man, George Woods. George Woods and the Sound of Soul. George uh, loved to play blues. Uh, I never knew what B.B. King was about or listened to any of his, his music except when the ra lady used to be playing the radio when I was a kid, like eight, nine, 10, and 12 and stuff. She'd be playing the radio and the music would be coming from New Orleans. And she'd be playing like a lot of those uh, blues singers would be on there. So when I heard B.B. King on the radio, that was one thing. But the first time I really heard B.B. King playing his guitar and singing, I thought I was listening to George Woods. <laughs> um, it's a guy I went to school with, Carl Gates. Gates had a, a, a band, a college band called Carl Gates and the Decks. And uh, he used to drive 160 miles from Jackson down to Gulfport and get me and take me back to uh, Jackson and we'd play dates in school at the college or somewhere at some American Legion club or something in Mississippi. You know, we played like two or three nights a week and that was a very good man. Tommy Tate was in that band, uh, a great singer. Very good, very, very, very good singer. So I guess I've about said enough, and once again, I'd like to thank the Jackson Music Awards and the uh, American Blues Network for the E. Rodney Smith Award. Thank you all, and good night. I'm sorry I'm not there. Like I said, I'm making a living out working with the Allman Brothers on tour right now. Thank you.